Hi everyone, Donut here. Let's do a Leo recap. Before we get into the recap, let me just mention a sponsor real quick because I was supposed to have a nod hate gear reviews done today and I'm still waiting for some stuff to come in so I can complete that. Hopefully they'll give me another day or two if I just throw this in here. Go to KanaiProGear.com and use the code DONUT10 for 10% off. Their Iberian Hiker bag is pretty rad. That's what the I Hate Gear Review is going to be about. Like I said, though, I got an extra large shipment of mayonnaise coming in. It just hasn't gotten here yet. Or something like that. A cheeky Italian conceptual artist named Maurizio Catalan made an 18 karat gold toilet and named it America. Hmm. Thanks, Kami. The toilet named America was showcased at the Guggenheim Museum in New York. It was then moved to Blenheim Palace, west of London, where Winston Churchill was born. The $1.25 million toilet was only there for two days before it was stolen. A 66-year-old man was arrested, but the toilet has not been found. A man in Illinois who looks exactly like Walter White was just charged with methamphetamine possession. I'm pretty sure that you could walk into any judge's office, show them a picture of this man, and they would automatically give you a warrant for meth possession. Guaranteed. Two popular YouTubers from the Netherlands were arrested this week for actually trespassing on Area 51. Authorities found drones and cameras in their car, the stuff that you don't want to be found when you're trespassing on a very, very highly restricted military base. When asked about what was going to happen to them, they replied with, they told us we were going waterboarding in Guantanamo Bay, and that sounds pretty rad. Methface Molly and this goofy bastard were riding their bicycles around in the dark, drunk as heck, a car almost hit them, police were called, and they were arrested. They were placed into the back of a police car together, and then they got naked and started doing the dirty. Guess where they're from? Florida. Oh, I bet it smelled great in that patrol car. Police in Townsend, Maryland responded to calls of people arguing with each other so loud they could be heard all over the hotel they were in. Turns out the two women were just doing the dirty super, super loud. So police got there and hotel management said, hey, we want them to leave. They're doing the dirty too loud. One of the women involved in the doing the dirty super loud in the hotel got mad that she had to leave the hotel and not do the dirty anymore super loud. So she went down to the lobby, pulled a gun out and pointed it at the security guard. While the security guard was trying to wrestle the gun away from the woman. She fired a shot. They were only feet away from the police officers who were still on scene. The police officer runs into the lobby. Him and the guard were successful in arresting the woman. 30-year-old Florida man Justin James Wilson damaged at least 20 cars or more. Wilson faces 14 counts of felony criminal mischief and 6 counts of misdemeanor criminal mischief for an estimated $30,000 in damages to at least 20 cars. Why did he do it? Let me tell you why he did it. Because... Donald Trump owes him $1 trillion. Hell yeah, Florida man, that's how you get your money. Orange man, bad. Orange man, oh, Florida man, $1 trillion. This is a crazy story, super interesting. On July of 1997, William Earl Moult got shit-faced and drove away from a nightclub he was at. Nobody found him for 22 years. That is until somebody got to looking at Google Maps and said, hey, that looks like a car in that pond right there. A guy that used to live in the area was looking at Google Maps of the area and saw what looked like a car in a pond. He knew the guy that lived closest to this weird object in the pond, so he called him and he said, hey dude, there's a car in your pond, in the, behind your house. Guy says, no way. He called authorities and sure enough, there was the car in the pond with poor Earl still inside of it. Moral of the story is if you drink and drive, you may think your car is a boat. Cars are not boats. And when you're drinking and driving, you may think that they are boats. So don't do it. Speaking of lost vehicles and bodies of water and cold cases, a 13-year-old solved a 27-year-old cold case this week. This kid was out on the lake with his GoPro. He thought he saw something in the water. He jumped in with his GoPro and... Believe it or not, it was another car. Back in 1992, a 69-year-old woman swerved off the road for whatever reason, crashed in there, and they didn't find her for nearly 30 years. This crazy-ass woman, who by the looks of her I would never take home to meet my mother, decided it would be a good idea just to ram the hell out of a car that had blocked her in next to a taco truck. Article here made it extra clear that it was next to a taco truck. Who rams a car next to a taco truck? Boom! 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 Police are still looking for if you frequent any strip clubs around Hollywood, be on the lookout. Oh, by the way, there's a new shirt up on the store. Check this out. <laughs> Get it? Got everything to do with the story we just talked about, huh? I apologize for nothing. The Brewster County Sheriff Department found 1,100 pounds of marijuana and somebody's wallet inside of an abandoned vehicle. It's not exactly like it's a pair of car keys. I don't know how you just lose that. The Sheriff's Department made a post on Facebook saying they'd like to return the wallet to the driver. And they also added, we'd like to talk. <laughs>
<laughs> the investigation is ongoing. There's nothing humorous about this case whatsoever, but this guy literally did that key and pill skit. I killed Darnell, yeah, I shot him with my knife. I shot him nine times, 9 p.m. on the dime. He was out on bail for a pending domestic violence case, and he went back and he killed the woman who the domestic violence case was against. And then the next day, he went to an open mic session at a bar and, quote, said, I killed my B-word and buried that B-word in the effing dirt. On video, you're going to see on this recap, there's a lot of 300 IQ plays going on. Out of all the shootings we've talked about on my channel, I think Las Vegas has some of the nuttiest ones we've ever seen. And by nutty, I mean very fine officers doing some very fine shooting. I got to shout this video out because it's only got like a thousand views from the Las Vegas Metropolitan Police YouTube channel. It's a breakdown they did and it's put together very well. A dude had shot his wife and he was holding a four-year-old hostage inside of this house. And Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department put together some awesome footage showing them staging outside of the house showing some FLIR footage from the helicopter showed them breaching the house it shows them going in and then it shows the hostage taker moments before this officer pops him now YouTube I did not show the popping it's a pretty cool video I'll put a link to it in the description below so you can check it out the officer that took the initial shots on the suspect though his name is Carrasco his name means executioner in Portuguese that's that's fucking metal I don't know if you guys remember this one incident from last year I don't think I made a breakdown of it but these two officers were chasing after this white pickup truck and they fired a bunch of shots out the windows. They ended up firing 76 shots at this guy driving the white pickup, killing him. One reporter talking about this incident the other day had this to say about it. We tried to reach out to the man who died in this pursuit. Uh, they were unavailable for comment. Ooh, that's an oopsie. I put it on Twitter and I'm just going to go over some of these comments real quick. People die if they are killed. Sir, do you have anything to add? Pokes corpse with stick. Sir, your silence will only implicate you further. Anything for the scoop. What is this, Chris Raygun? Says it reminds me of this gem. Good evening, I'm Ken Bastida. Dana is off tonight. He was murdered and then set on fire while celebrating his birthday. Well, that was pretty freaking casual. Damn, dude. I don't know if he liked Dana very much. Donutoperator.com if you want to help support the channel. I'm probably going to be streaming when this video is released. Everyone, please have a fantastic night. Day. Have a good one. Just make sure everything's fantastic. Be fantastic. Fantastic! Fantastic!